<laughs> I'm pretty sure this is something that'll take time. Yes. And which is why uh, starting a little earlier, perhaps, than scheduled military is timing what is important. Before yes, time. <laughs> before time, not on time. Not on time. Or um, after and that. so that is that uh, solemn procession that you can see um, leaving Lee Funeral Home. Like we said, it will be escorted by the family. Uh, this is a military send-off, so you can see the military vehicles and the soldiers uh, with the outriders. Let's uh, take you to uh, Sam Aguina and Stephen Latour, who are right where this procession is. Well, there you have it. Three outriders at the front, one GK uh, siren Mercedes Benz, followed by a military police, and then a ceremonial. Three outriders again at the middle. And then right there you have it, Samogina, is the military truck that is uh, drawing the body of the late Daniel Torotich Arapmoy. There you have it, Sam. And well, as you can see on your screens, the body is draped uh, in the national flag. Of course, uh, the pole bearers, I assume, are uh, sitting on the military truck, all in the full military regalia, plus uh, actually gloves for that matter, white gloves, uh, red uh, shirts, and... Uh, black and and black trousers of course uh as you can see uh this is what we were waiting for it was supposed to happen at 8 15 as as what we was what told and clearly uh the military style one hour early and of course uh we understand that family will also be following this particular procession very slow very sure uh of course also outriders but uh, military police also walking uh besides uh, this particular procession later. And remember, Sam, they say that the body will be escorted also by the family members and I guess the vehicle, the the entourage that you are seeing there all the way to behind there inside or even with the military uh, police vehicles accompanying them could be the family members who are accompanying the body of the late President Daniel Terotich Arap Moy all the way through Valley Road, Kenyatta Avenue and finally to Parliament buildings where it's going to lay in state from today, Saturday, Sunday and Monday ahead of the Tuesday State Findro here in the capital Nairobi. And there you see it here, you see in front there a very slow by that metal truck on the sides are outriders with those riding them on full military ceremonial dressing. There you have it going all the way in a very, a very slow pace in terms of, um, you've noticed that members of the public who are standing uh, uh, at, the, at the sides of the road have not been told to move but they are being put in order just to observe the body of the late Daniel Tarotich Arap Moy making its way to Parliament buildings where our very own Francis Gashui is on standby to receive this very but where we are now and I, I recall the government officials mm -hmm. yesterday saying uh, that funeral service that will take place at Nyaya Stadium and indeed what will be happening in Kabarak that's mm -hmm. open to the public there will be no invitations and they've also made arrangements to ensure that members of the public can follow those proceedings in four they will different be having, locations yes, right? in, in four different locations mm -hmm. I think the fourth one is the one um, that the family is yet to advise on but they will be in Sacho they will be in Cabernet, Cabernet Town exactly. and at Afraha Stadium in Amen. Nakuru to just enable everybody to do this. And remember, uh, the media also um, as well live throughout this um, procession and as it makes it its way. It makes one wonder what kind of week we've had because it is Tuesday morning, Yvonne, at about 5.20 a.m. when uh, President Daniel Arabmoy was passed on and mm -hmm. of course we got that alert uh, across the country that uh, uh, proclamation. presidential proclamation right. I, you know and at 8 20 a.m his body was taken to the lee funeral home yes and from there obviously that's sort of a raft of activities government moving into full swing military taking over because this is a street state funeral with all the trappings that come with civilian and military honors as well and uh, yes we now have a closer shot actually of the vehicle that the gun carriage that's drawing the cough the, the you know the the, the the platform carrying the coffin and you can see the flag of Kenya there covering the coffin of the body of the second president of the Republic of Kenya, a man who had many terms, professor mm -hmm. of politics, mm -hmm. uh, Father amongst of the others, nation, Nyayo. Nyayo, and, that's right. And many other terms that were used to describe him. Yes. Um, as we take a look at this convoy making its way to Parliament Road, let's. Um, speak to Raquel Mwigai, who is um, along the convoy. 
She's uh, on Valley Road, yeah. actually. Uh, Raquel, um, tell us a bit more about what you're seeing. Um, you know, members of the public, we saw some people um, there. What's the sort of activity? What's the mood? Raquel, my guy, can you hear me? All right, while well, we okay. try and get a hold of Raquel, who's yeah. on Valley Road. You'll be keen to get yeah. to, to hear from her if there are any unique insights from where she is. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of watching from afar, mm -hmm. but where she is, there could be more that she could tell us, and we'll quickly right. try and get her on as quickly as we can. Go and on. even as we do that, you can take a look at members of the public. Um, very few, obviously. It's still early morning for a Saturday. Um, but there's a couple of them who seem to be trying to just walk and, and make their way in there. And it's important to note that uh, the family is escorting uh, this procession. Um, they should be in that minivan they, they just could be behind. in that minivan yes. behind. Um, be this is... Carrying. And so it's now making its way into Parliament buildings where it... The casket and the body of... Um, the casket bearing the body of... The late President Daniel Arab Moy will lie in state for the next three days. Heavy security presence outside Parliament. It is from here that all members of the public will have an opportunity to view the body and pay their last respects. Um, I believe at uh, the viewing of uh, the late Mzee Jomo Kenyatta, members of the public were allowed about five seconds each to just view the body and pay their last respects. Um, we will wait to see how this one will be conducted. All right, Yvonne, I th uh, let me bring in a man now who knows a bit more about what's going on on the screen right mm -hmm. now. Uh, let me introduce Brigadier Ahmed Mohammed, a former Kenyan military brigadier general. Thank you so much <clears throat> for joining us today. Thank you very much, Rahim. Yes, and of course, we are now observing what's happening on our screens. And of course, allow you can now come in at this time and just give us better insights into what's happening right now and what we can expect to see over the next hour or so at the parliament buildings. Thank you very much, uh, Wahenya and uh, Yvonne. What we are seeing now is um, uh, the body of the late president uh, having been uh, taken off the uh, gun carriage and transported into uh, parliament. And uh, uh, that um, uh, coffin right now is being uh, under the charge of uh, Brigadier General and uh, six of the rank of colonel who are accompanying uh, the body very closely, reflecting on the position of the um, our last our former commander in chief, mm -hmm. and a great honor indeed for this uh, to happen. You saw it coming.